I like this mic. I feel like Bob Barker. <laughs> Have your spats paid, pets paid and neuter. If you're a neuter, I don't know. Tough <laughs> Um Jesse, I don't even know if you need to record this because I feel like the NSA has got it covered. <laughs> Some like low level NSA analyst is like, they're doing what at the where? <laughs> I gotta bug that up. <laughs> Send in an observation drone. There's probably no observation drones. <laughs> <laughs> For the radio listeners, I am sketchily looking around the <laughs> For observation drones. Uh, that's paranoid. Uh, I tend to have some paranoid conspiracy theories. Like this whole thing was planned by the NSA to trap us into saying something fucked up that we didn't mean to say. Like Mike's Margarita? That's totally something that the NSA would get. <laughs> to have at a party. <laughs> and it's like one of those Mike's hard things, but like FYI NSA, margaritas were always hard. It's <laughs> <laughs> like always been booze and margaritas. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put this down because it's giving me diabetes. <laughs> Um, yeah, I have some sort of paranoid conspiracy theories. Um, I tend to crop over. I'm usually, a lot of times I'm right, so <laughs> that's why I have them. But uh, my latest conspiracy theory is that I'm starting to think that blowjobs were just developed to keep women quiet. <laughs> <laughs> like a giant flesh pacifier. <laughs> Or like a big, blood-filled binky. <laughs> I know, I feel like you're probably struggling with the mental image of a baby giving a blowjob. <laughs> or perhaps a penis-shaped baby pacifier. <laughs> Maybe you're struggling with that now. Um, but that is a very uh, classic tool of audience management that I learned from watching the television show Bones which is starring Zooey Deschanel's very statuesque sister and uh, Bobby the Vampire's uh, ex-boyfriend, Angel. <laughs> but within every episode of Bones, within the first 30 seconds, there is a scene of some human remains that has been destroyed in the most horrific way possible. And every time I go to watch it, I sit down with my bowl of chili and somehow... <laughs> Someone has managed to get their entire body inside a blender and just grind it up entirely. And the cops are just standing around like glibly commenting on this body in a blender. <laughs> and as an audience member, I am traumatized. But somehow, Bones is my favorite show on television. And I figured out that what has happened is that I'm traumatized by this scene of uh, gross bo boiled up bodies just like you're considering the idea of a baby getting a blowjob. And what I've established here is sort of like a captor-captive relationship. I'm the captor, you're the captive now. <laughs> just so we're clear. Just so we're clear. <laughs> and so now, as the captive, you feel as though you're a little bit dependent upon me for your existence, which means that you now have Stockholm Syndrome, which means that you're actually a little bit fond of me. <laughs> You, at the end of this whole thing, you're gonna wish the best for me because you're gonna have formed some weird bond. So while you guys are a little bit fond of me, I'm gonna get back into my blowjob conspiracy theory. <laughs> I just feel like at some point back in the day, a woman was spouting off some nonsense. She somehow managed to be unpregnant long enough to form an opinion about her place in the world. <laughs> And she was spouting off some nonsense about owning property or being independent. And the man closest to her was like, oh my god. <laughs> How do I stop it? Stop it. I don't have anything. <laughs> quiet. <laughs> and it felt kind of nice. <laughs> and so of course he spread the word 
all to the other men of the world. That man was Joseph Blowjob. <laughs> I don't understand that is a bit of a cockamamie conspiracy theory about the invention of the blowjob. I also understand that I just said cock. <laughs> and I understand that blowjobs probably came about well before there was anybody named Joseph. <laughs> but the prehistoric blowjob is the most impossible for me to imagine. Because I can't picture a cave lady <laughs> Sitting in her cave with her cave man, and she just looks over at his cave dick and is like, That looks delicious. <laughs> I'll have that. <laughs> I feel like more than likely the first blowjob came about uh, as a repercussion of a grievous vaginal injury sustained <laughs> by a cave lady. <laughs> And caveman came home and he was like, ooh. <laughs> and she's all like, mm-mm, not today. And he was like, ooh, me fuck other holes? <laughs> Which, ironically enough, is still how uh, the majority of blowjob requests happen <laughs> 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 in that day. Uh, true. true thing. Um, let's not, do I have anything else to say about penises and how gross they are? No. I feel like I'm to that tonight. Um, I do get really paranoid. I have a lot of paranoia. Um, I, uh, I smoke a bunch of marijuana. That's it. <laughs> and I'm a white person, so I have a lot of stupid stuff to think about. Um, I had a weird paranoid delusion the other day. I was uh, on my computer, dicking around as I want to do. And I started shopping for a new computer using my existing computer. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like that. I realized that's a little bit fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like using your existing boyfriend to like find a new boyfriend. <laughs> it's like, babe, what do you think of the processing speed on that one? Or can you open up a new tab so I can check out the black one? <laughs> <laughs> So I started to become really concerned that my computer was going to get hit to the game and get really jealous and seek to punish me in some way. <laughs> because if you think about it, your computer can really fuck up your shit if it's mad at you. Like what if my computer just posted all of my embarrassing Google searches onto Facebook? <laughs> Things like... How much period blood is too much period blood? <laughs> and can you die from never having sex? <laughs> or like, how much does Joaquin Phoenix weigh now? <laughs> these are things I don't know. The internet to tell me these things. I'm also worried that like, it will like copy and paste all of my sexy Facebook conversations that I have and send them to my mom. Yeah, I have sexy Facebook conversations. I know I don't look like it, but it do. <laughs> I don't actually have any sexy like text conversations or email conversations or anything because a lot of the times when you're trying to get e-sexy with a boy or a man or anybody, uh, they'll like resort to slang and I really can't get down with slang. <laughs> he'll be like, baby, are you going to come? And I'm like, baby, I'm not going to do anything because gonna is not a word. <laughs> I cannot get turned on by back grammar. <laughs> <laughs> so I started to become a little bit par paranoid that my computer was going to become jealous of my other searches, my internet searches for a new computer, which means that I may have inadvertently triggered the technological singularity on my Lenovo desktop computer. <laughs> the technological, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. If, have you guys ever seen the movie Terminator or heard of the movie Terminator? Yes. All the computers, the machines come back to life and take out the human race. What if that was just triggered by a jealous computer? <laughs> like, what if somebody at Cyberdyne 
was down using Skynet to try and find its new global defense, digital defense system. And Skynet got hit to the game and was like, oh hell no. <laughs> and Skynet gets all pissed off and calls up her machines and is like, girl, you do not believe what this motherfucker is doing. <laughs> I found all of his search histories and he is looking for a new global digital defense system using me. <laughs> Let's go dancing, and let's go drinking, and let's talk about it. And so Skynet and all of her machines go out, and they're getting drunk, and everyone's getting really pissed off. And one of the machines is like, you know who we should take out first? That motherfucker John Connor. Because did you hear? He was trying to find a new iPhone 6 with his iPhone 5. <laughs> let's kill all of those motherfuckers. <laughs> um, guys, it's really been my pleasure to be here tonight. Uh, I have been, and continue to be, was all. <laughs> Thank you, Liz.